naturally beautiful girl. Today I'm going to be doing my March Petty Boar box unboxing. I don't do true unboxing videos. I like to open up the boxes and try and use the products like once or show you how they look on me before I talk about them. I think it's more helpful if you kind of get to see things a little bit. But anyway, before we get into that, um, you'll have to excuse me. I am wearing my husband's shirt today and I'm wearing it because I'm filming this in the morning and I'm going to be going into the lab as soon as I finish filming and I am preparing some equipment in lab and I've been working on it for a few days now and basically I come home covered in dirt and oil. I've kind of gone through my work clothes and so now I'm having to move to my husband's work clothes. I apologize, I normally look more put together but you know, time's a desperation here. And also, uh, in case you guys noticed, I did get my hair cut. I cut off quite a few inches um, of my hair over the past weekend. And to go with my theory, no one in my department has noticed or at least said anything about it. So I'm pretty sure I could wear the same sweater all week and nobody would notice. This is a pretty dramatic difference, so I don't know what's going on, but I really love it. And I used to have my hair more this length when I was in college, and I thought it would be fun to kind of go back this length and have something fresh for spring. So you guys will be seeing me with shorter hair for a while. <laughs> the last thing, I have to apologize for not putting up my Penny Boy Box um, video until now. I am filming on Tuesday morning. I am going to come back tonight and edit and upload my video so it'll be all ready to go on Wednesday. So basically I'm filming this on Tuesday and you're gonna be seeing it on Wednesday. And that is because my Petty Boar box did not arrive until late uh, on Monday night. And why it decided not to arrive is because it decided to hang out in Westboro, Massachusetts for six days. I didn't even know Westboro, Massachusetts existed until my box got stuck there for six days. I don't know if it had friends or family that it wanted to visit, but anyway, it's not telling me why it was there, but it was there for six days. And so as soon as I got it, I am now filming this. And that is why it is going up so much later than everyone else's Penny Boar unboxing. Hopefully next month this will not happen and I can be more on top of things, but it's not my fault. I don't know what my box is doing. Nobody knows. I talked to Penny Boar. They don't know either. It just decided that Westboro was a cool place to hang out for six days. This is what this month's box looks like. Um, and I was a little bit disappointed because it has a lot more kind of skincare e items and I am more of a makeup person, mainly because I'm just really picky about my skincare because I have oily, acne prone skin and I'm terrified of things making my acne worse or making my face more oily. But since I am a YouTuber, I have to try things out for you guys. So, uh, so here's what we got. So the first thing that caught my attention was this Meta Skincare Intensive Replenishing Face Balm. It looks like this. And it's actually a really, really beautiful yellowy color. <laughs> Matches my husband's shirt. But uh, it kind of reminds me of the color of like a mango sorbet or something. Anyway, it's really cool. And it's interesting because it's, I just picked a little bit up on my finger here. It's soft, it's not hard. You would expect a product um, to be more like a solid balm, but it's more kind of, it's firmer than a lotion, but softer than a balm. It's got an interesting texture. And what the little card says about it is that it is a deeply hydrating vegan balm formulated with rare East African shea butter cold pressed oils and botanical ingredients to help soften, moisturize, and promote skin suppleness. It does have a pretty strong scent and I'm not entirely sure what the scent is. I can't really put my finger on it. I was nervous about putting this all over my face because it sounds a little bit too moisturizing, but when I got it last, when I got the box last day, um, my husband was home. We were eating dinner actually while I was opening it because I have no time and this is what we do while we're eating dinner sometimes. So I was opening this up and I was, we were looking at this and I was like, oh, I don't think I really want to put that all over my face. It seems too moisturizing. And he's like, oh, you should put that under your nose. I have this like really dry patch of skin. I call it my under nose because it's like right under my nose. It's not really my lip, it's more my nose, but it's like right under my nose and I've been fighting with it for like the past month. I. I will get it kind of healed up and then the weather will turn and get really cold again and then it just gets all dry and cracked and peely and unhappy. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. 
So I did use this on my on that dry patch and this morning when I woke up it was so much happier. I mean it's still not completely healed up but I'm going to continue using this on that dry patch because it seemed to really like it and I know that that dry patch needs all the help it can get so I'm really hoping that this will clear it up. Although I do have to say the scent is a lot kind of to put right under your nose. It's pretty strong but I really appreciate the consistency of this because it's not super liquidy and it's not like really firm. It's just, I love the consistency of this product. It's really interesting. That's why you can also tell I'm a chemist. I get sidetracked by how <laughs> the consistency of a material. The next thing that I was also very hesitant about was this cleansing oil. And this is by Little Barn Apothecary. And it's a blue yarrow and geranium cleansing oil. And what the little card says is clean pure plant oils formulated to remove, to remove impurities from deep within pores, dissolve makeup and build up while deeply hydrating and toning skin. So I also did use this last night. I removed my makeup with a makeup wipe, mainly because I needed to shower and I wanted to use this after I got out of the shower and I didn't want my makeup running all over the shower. I will try it to remove my makeup at some point. But last night I removed my makeup with a wipe and then went in with this after I showered. And on the instructions it says to go in on a dry face, use a little bit, rub it, and then kind of rub it with a um, moist washcloth. But what I did was I went in on a dry face with this and I actually had to use quite a bit because my skin was just like eating it up. I don't know if that meant my skin was really dry yesterday or what was going on, but it was like eating up product. So I had to use two pumps, which seemed like a lot to me, but Anyway, that's what I ended up using. And then instead of a damp um, washcloth, I went in with a damp cognac sponge from last month's Petty Boar box and kind of rubbed it around. And then I washed it off a little bit. Didn't say to do that, but I also have oily skin. And I just don't like having extra oil sitting on my skin. So I washed it off a little bit and I didn't go in with any additional moisturizers. And I woke up, my face did feel really moisturized. It didn't break me out. I didn't see my pores looking more clogged. So I'm definitely going to try this some more. I didn't have any adverse reactions to it, which is always nice. It does come with a little pump, which I think is nice. It kind of makes it easier to control an oil, which can get kind of messy. It didn't have that strong of a scent either. I mean, it had a little bit of one, um, I guess because of the geranium, but it wasn't, it wasn't nearly as strong as the balm. I'll definitely keep trying it. Um, it seems nice. Next we have this Formulary 55 Rose Hip and Clay Facial Mask. And it comes like this. This is like a solid clay mask and you need to mix it with water. So I obviously have not used it yet. I will use it and try it out. I've never really, I've never actually used a mask like this that's, you have to mix with water. So this will be the first one I've ever tried, kind of a do-it-yourself mask. And what the card says about it is detoxify and soften naturally with this pink, gentle pink clay facial mask. This one will draw out toxins without over drying skin. So curious to try this out. The final product, which is kind of the, the beauty product, I would say, of this box, is the Galaxy Milk Illuminating Beauty Oil. And this is by um, Connie Botanicals. And what it says about this is lightweight and ultra smooth. This nourishing oil highlighter provides a subtle glow while blurring the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. Target the bridge of the nose, cheekbones, and brow bones for a sculpted appearance. Illuminating drops can be worn alone or mixed in with other makeup or skincare products for a custom glow. So it's a really little bottle and um, so I did shake it up before I used it and I have it on my cheekbones today which um, I think you I think you guys can see this but it is a really strong highlight. So it comes with a little dot, a little dropper, but it is so liquidy that it just kind of gets all over the dropper. It's a little messy. So you kind of have to be careful with it. But I put a drop on my hand and first of all, it smells really good. Um, I'm not sure how to describe the scent. I'm really bad at describing scents, but I really, whatever the scent is in this, I really love this and could wear it as perfume. So here it is, a dot of it on my hand, and then I will kind of show it you, we'll end it out here. Like that, look at that, look at that highlight. Like that reminds me, I didn't, I've never used the Cover FX Illuminating Drops, but this kind of reminds me of that. I feel like it could be a really good dupe for that. Super, super illuminating. 
And I do have it on my cheekbones today. I put it on after I put on my foundation and before I put on my powder. So, and you do have to be careful to get this kind of blended out because that, I mean, you could end up with a straight highlighter on your cheek very easily, which my husband has a list of a few things that he doesn't like. And right now they are high-waisted jeans and shorts. He hates high-waisted anything. He thinks they look weird. And he does not like big strips of highlighter on the cheek. I was looking on Instagram and he saw a picture of Jaclyn Hill with like a giant like highlighted streak on her cheek. And he's like, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. So I was like, oh gosh, I gotta make sure to get this blended out. So I think I did a, a good job. I think this could also be really, really nice in the summer. If you wanna like highlight your decolletage or your shoulders, I think that could be really sexy and really nice. Also, I am curious to try mixing this in with my foundation. I've been using the 100% Pure Healthy Skin Fruit Pigmented Foundation, which is a very matte foundation on me. So I am curious to try mixing this in and see how that works. Yeah, like I said, I think this could be a really good dupe for something like the Cover FX um, Illuminating Drops. It, I, like I said, I haven't used them, but from what I've seen on YouTube and Instagram, this reminds me a lot of it. And the smell of this is pretty darn incredible. So I am very happy to keep using this. So overall, the value of the products that we got in this box was, let's see, we had $16 for the illuminating oil, $12.50 for the face balm, $8 for the, um, for the cleansing oil, and $8 for the mask. So let's see, that's 16, 16, 32 and uh, $12.50, so that is $44.50. So considering I only paid, I believe $15 for this box and I got $44.50 worth in products, that was a pretty good deal. So uh, yeah, so this is my second uh, Petit Boy box that I've received and so far I'm really, really liking it and I'm really glad I started the subscription. So let me know if you found this video useful or entertaining. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to continue doing Petit Boy um, kind of first impressions-y, Kind of unboxings let me know also be sure to check out my instagram i'll have my handle down below i'm at naturally beautiful girl and be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos and thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye